The North Pole we see on a map is actually different than the North Pole used on our phones. Technology relies on the magnetic North Pole. Storm Team 10's Chris Piper explains why there's a difference and why it's on the move. Navigation is part of our everyday lives. Whether you use a GPS to get to work or you're simply going across town, we depend on our information being right. But sometimes things change, and that's exactly what the North Pole is doing. Now, if we look to the north, the North Pole is where all lines of longitude intersect. Because of the metals under the Earth's surface, the magnetic North Pole isn't always in that same spot. Now, as far back as the 1600s, the magnetic North Pole was around the islands just off the north of Canada. Now, over the years, it has drifted farther north and south, and it's even started moving toward the east. But recently, it's moved more, and it's moved faster, too. Every five years, the spot of true magnetic north is updated. The last time was in 2015, so the next update was scheduled for 2020. However, it moved so much and so fast in the past few years, it had to be updated this year, one year earlier than scheduled. So what does that mean for us? To anyone driving a car, you won't feel the effects, but without continuous updates, we could slowly start seeing more errors in navigation and maps. And while it could take a few more years to see any big changes, scientists are keeping a close eye on it. Back to you.